As per the reports, there are 87,000 electric vehicles on Indian roads. There's a significant jump in EV sales seen in the last one year. With sales in November 2021 clocking 42,055 units, this is the first time that EV registrations have crossed the 40,000 mark in a month. With the increasing number of EVs on the road, now comes the question, are we ready and fully prepared with the right charging infrastructure to keep these vehicles running? Aethergrid is our public fast charging network. We have another largest charging networks for an electric tool in the country already. We have about 300 fast chargers across the country in almost 30 cities. And um, with our new chargers called Grid 2.0, we are adding chargers at a much faster pace now. We are planning to install almost 50 chargers this month uh, and every month this point onwards. In Bengaluru and Chennai, there are already multiple charging points by Aethergrid and planned in a way that you'll find your next charging point within a 4km range. As the demand is increasing, so is their expansion plan. In the coming months, Aethergrid is planning to set up their charging points in Ahmedabad, Coimbatore, Hyderabad, Kochi, Kolkata, Mumbai, NCR and Pune. Charging at Aether Grid is open for all electric vehicles, not just the Aether 450 and Aether 450X. So here you can charge up your vehicle at the rate of 15 kilometers every 10 minutes. And these charges are installed in extremely accessible areas like restaurants, cafes, malls, those are, those are preferences. Idea being that they are in, you can easily get to these charges. You can take a 15-20 minute break right and actually charge your vehicle meaningfully there it's meant to ensure that the vehicle has 116 kilometers certified range and 85 kilometers real world range but in that off chance that you are running out of range on the road the aether grid that's present across the city for example bangalore is almost 35 40 charges ensures that you're never too far away from the nearest charger to make the search easy for the people, there's a dedicated app which tells you about the nearest charging point. You just have to download the app. Aether app in turn has been very helpful for me. For example, I have connected my charger to a smart plug so I can switch on and switch off the charger itself. Along with the app, I can monitor how the uh, scooter is charging and with what speed, whether it's slow charging or fast charging. Basically, when I was buying, I had this uh, anxiety, uh, whether I'll get a charger outside, what will happen if I run out of charge, all these things were there in my mind. But as and when I started using it, I understood that basically I do not uh, want these public charges at all. Uh, most of the times I charge in the home itself. Uh, I come back in the evening, put it for charge and uh, go out in the morning with full charge. So basically, I'm, uh, I'm really not uh, worried about the range, uh, especially in the city. First, battery life, right? And understandable. Everybody hears, oh, lithium-ion battery. My phone has a lithium-ion battery. My phone dies in two years. What happens if an electric scooter battery dies in two years, right? That's not how it works, folks. Right? Phone batteries are very different. They're meant for very different use case. For example, phone batteries come, I think, with three or six months of warranty. Our batteries come with three years of warranty. And we have now had a lot of customers who have used the vehicle for more than three, three and a half years and have hit 30, 40, 50,000 kilometers. And after such a long usage, they've not even lost 10% of the original battery. So batteries, well-designed batteries in electric vehicles, and that's what you will see in our product, in Indian conditions, should last you between six to eight years, right? Not two, three, four years, right? So the battery life is really long. And we give a warranty, but that's essentially to, you know, sort of just as like a base promise, right? The actual delivery of the vehicle is far, far longer than that. Second one is range. Lots of folks worry about, oh, well, I need a 200 kilometer range product. And they forget that nobody ever does 200 kilometer uh, unless, actually nobody ever does 200 kilometers. Like, uh, you can't even do 100 kilometers. So average usage of a product is about 28 kilometers. And I think about 96% of our scooters have never even hit 60 kilometers in a single day ever, right? So when we say our range is 85 kilometers or, or certified is 116, that's typically three days worth of usage, right? So two general worries that we see people having, uh, 
battery life absolutely not an issue with new generation evs and range well you can get a higher range option but honestly and it's not in my interest to say this i'll still tell you you're totally okay with a lower range you actually never need more than 60 kilometers likely ever Twenty twenty two year of expansion. Uh, we go from twenty five cities to one hundred cities. We go from having three hundred fast chargers to eighteen hundred fast chargers. Something like thirty stores to one hundred and fifty stores. Uh, our capacity goes up to five lakh units per annum. We will cross the one lakh annual sales mark this year. But basically, every aspect that you think from a customer facing portfolio, volume, number of centers, fast chargers. Everything scales up four to ten times this year. Uh, you will see Ather as essentially a pan-India brand by the end of this year.